can't find anything, by the way. I really love a runner for the kitchen. Oh, I see art. Who would have thought that organizing your kitchen could be so complicated? I could do this in here. Kinsley, look what mama got you. It's so nice. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the vlog. I'm ready. This is my first shower, my first get ready time at the house. It was quite wonderful. I'm making Romeo some coffee because he left at like 2 a.m. or something to go to start um, setting up for the Rose Bowl. So I know for a fact he did not make himself coffee because the coffee machine wasn't even set up. I set it up this morning. I'm gonna go pick up my niece, Zoe, she's gonna hang out with me, but also she's meeting her friends, so my nieces are gonna be there, um, and we're just gonna shop. I really just like to go and walk around, but you never know what you're gonna find. Nice to see Romeo at his booth and stuff. It's just fun to go walk around. Ooh, this is hot. I can't find anything, by the way. This is um, not the right cup for this, but that's okay. He is going to struggle through today without coffee. And then I want to come back and start to unpack. Again, we can't find anything. We still have to clean the kitchen cabinets. I don't know. We'll see how Romeo feels too because the Rose Bowl ends at 3. I won't stay until 3. I'll be back earlier than him. So we can start on one area and then go from there. Kinsley, you're going to be very good girl. She has found a new way to see us leave the house. We've only been here a night. Yesterday when I went to run errands, she ran upstairs into Romeo's room looked out the window and could see down to the driveway where I was leaving. And I'm like, she is the cutest stinking thing I've ever seen. How did she know that? How did she know she could see me from there? How are you so smart? Come see me. How are you so smart? Did you say hi to everybody? Did you tell them if you love your new house or not? I think you do. It's so quiet here. Having to wake up to noise in general at the apartment, it's surreal being in California and not having that like at all. So I am blessed beyond belief. There's always so many people at the Rose Bowl that I'm gonna take you on my phone and then um, we'll be back and we'll work at the house. <laughs> Found the most beautiful rug here last time and I want to see if he has it. I really love a runner for the kitchen. I love this runner. So there's the rug I love. It's more provincial, French provincial, than I think the style of the house lens. I feel like the house lens more this way. Pretty. I love these lamps and these shades, but you see how they're cracked on the inside? That will be so ugly when it's turned on. I need to find some that are in good shape. This lamp's kind of cool. This floor lamp. Mm -hmm. She's so cool. Oh, I see art. Even though I don't need any. This is pretty, but it's too vibrant. Mm, that's pretty. We're gonna need like a long, skinny table. Probably even skinnier than this. We knew that they had changed the layout, 
of the bowl, but there's definitely less home decor. I don't know. I, it feels different or some places are just empty, like spots are empty. I'm kind of happy with what I got. It makes me really happy. Okay, now I have to go back and get my lamp and they're gonna bring the rugs to um, my car for me, which I feel like I could bring them, but we'll see. What the shape of this one. Hello guys, good morning. It is the next day. The Rose Bowl was fun, but I felt like since we haven't unpacked and I haven't decorated the house with things I already have, it was hard for me to be like, I need this, I need that, I know I need that. Other than the things I already did know I needed, which was <laughs> desperately a new rug. And I was hesitant on it because vintage rugs can get pricey, but I have been loving that rug for a few months now and I, I Felt like it was a sign that he still had it. And also he had the runner that matched and that's unheard of. It's really hard to find black in rugs. And then on top of that, to find one that actually matches that, that can make some, you know, create some cohesion between two spaces. I could not do it. So I got both of those rugs and a floor lamp. That's it. That's all I bought. Oh, actually, that's not all I bought. I bought something for my mom, I'll show you. But the floor lamp is actually really pretty. The shade is silk, but it's messed up. So he gave me a discount on it because I was like, I'm gonna have to swap out the shade no matter what. I also don't like that it covers this kind of like pretty part of, he said it didn't go with it. He just put it on there. I really liked all the detail. Some of the leaves and things I need to like kind of fix or pull out and just perfected a little bit, but it came down to 90. So I actually haggled. I had a little bit of FaceTime courage because my mom was on FaceTime when I was haggling. So she was like, go over there. And she was coaching me through my haggle. When we go to flea markets, my thing that I say is always, what's your best price? You kind of haggle at flea markets. That's kind of just like a common thing that happens. And it makes me uncomfortable. So I never do, but I'll ask what the best price is. And then I normally knock off, you know, like five, box depending on what it is but this time i was like i have 90 cash take it or leave it kind of thing because i did have to replace the shade and fix the bottom but i thought that was really pretty we spent the rest of the day bringing in all of my art so that i could start decorating so i was getting really worried about my art being outside in the garage because that's what we brought over and i didn't want the art in the way when the movers were bringing stuff in so we put it in the garage but with all the rain i just didn't want anything to happen to them with moisture and stuff so uh, we brought we prioritized them and brought them in i got this little painting <laughs> look at this it kind of looks like me when i was little and with the little doggy, I think I ended up paying like 10 bucks for it or something like that. Not nothing crazy, um, but I thought it was really pretty. I bought that for my mom. She's, she really liked it when she was on FaceTime shopping with me. We were hoping she was gonna be able to come to the Rose Bowl and fly out or Long Beach, but we couldn't make it work this month. So maybe soon. So today I really wanna work on the kitchen. I've been pulling things out of boxes so we could use them, like our pans and stuff, but I wanna clean in the cabinets because we just prioritize like the oven, the, the appliances really, and then start to put all of our, our dishes away. I <laughs> realized when we were packing up our dishes, we have one drinking glass left that hasn't been broken. So I knew I needed to order drinking glasses and there was these ones that I really wanted, so I ordered those. We're gonna open some packages and then work on the kitchen. The rug is so heavy, but I was able to bring it in. Hi, did you come to look? Oh. They're basically highball glasses, like for, I guess, alcoholic drinks. Oh, they're so These, aren't those pretty? I have a lot of dishes in Texas and I think I need to go through that now and like see which ones I wanna keep for the cottage, which ones I wanna bring to our future pop-up shop whenever we're gonna do it because I have tons of stuff and then which ones I can bring here. But I got two sets of these, I'll link them. They're really pretty and they're like a good size. This, I believe is from Orate. Big thank you to them for sponsoring this video. I love their jewelry. I'm wearing their jewelry right now. This bracelet and two rings. This is my favorite ring, this vintage one. Earrings, never take off. These pieces, I never take off. I love that I can wear them 
all the time and also wear them in the shower and know that because they're great quality, they're going to last. They asked me to curate some of my favorite pieces. So of course the ones that I have are going on there because I, I love them so much. And I wanted to see some of the other pieces. So they've been sending me some um, to kind of see the quality and look at this ring, half baguette ring. Look how gorgeous, it goes halfway around. It's absolutely stunning. And this one, <gasps> these are all gonna be on my favorites page. So you guys can shop the pieces that I have and have been loving from their website. Look at this little sweetie. <gasps> so Arrate is female founded and run. I think 90% of their company is, is female. And all of their pieces are made from recycled gold and sustainably sourced diamonds. Look at this tennis bracelet. A truly amazing quality. Everything was made with real gold, made by hand, with real gemstones, real diamonds. These are actually my baby earrings. So I've had them since I was literally got my ears pierced at like a year old or however young I was when my mom did it. So I wear these all the time and these two studs are almost identical to mine. So you can get kind of the look. I like wearing it higher and I think I actually wanna get two more piercings in between on like one ear. Wear these gold hoops all the time and they just sent me some new ones so that I can like switch them up. I love these, they're like an infinity hoop. I'll take it off so you can see. I love these because they clip into each other and I can sleep on them. They don't like poke me, but I wear them all the time. I don't have any variety in my earrings. Uh, so they sent this pair. These are so pretty. They have like a texture to them. Then they go in like kind of like a normal earring. So I'm gonna just swap these out. These are so pretty. And they have different sizes of hoops too that I'll put on my favorites page. I usually gravitate towards smaller rings, more dainty rings. And I don't really, I realized I didn't have anything chunky. So when I saw this one on their site, I loved it. It's like a chunky kind of dome ring. That is so pretty. When I get dressed up and I want something more statement-y, I can wear this. And this is actually from their collaboration with Michelle Choi. It's got a beautiful blue topaz. Isn't that pretty? And I like how the chain is mixed. It's like different on each side. Look how pretty this is. You guys are looking for some new jewelry and to layer some pieces into your heirloom pieces. I highly recommend Orate. You can go to oratenewyork.com and they already have great prices, but you can get an additional 30% off with no minimum spend using code McKenna30. Look how pretty this is, like layered. Like I'm wearing, <laughs> fully wearing a turtleneck, but I want you to be able to see it. And this one, look at this piece with a single, Stud, so pretty. I love jewelry. I love putting dress up. I absolutely, I'll, I'll keep these on. I don't know why I'm taking them off. I can't wear them, they're mine. Let's see what else we got here. So many things, Kinsley. Oh, we randomly went to this like Amazon store that had like Amazon products and stuff. There was just a sample of everything on the floor and you scanned it and you can send it to, it was like a whole experience. I did see this set. And it kind of reminded me of like Lululemon a little bit. And it was super soft. So I was able to touch it in person and then just put it in my Amazon cart for later. I don't think that that was the point of the store is they're supposed to buy it there, but hey, wait, I mean, it worked in some way. Oh, might be too big, I don't know. But I thought they were so, they were so soft and I really like the color. I got this and I got the zip up. Yeah, they had other colors too. Um, so I'll leave this one linked. Cute. I want like some athletic kind of athleisure wear that I can have. I mean, it's kind of what you live in <laughs> in LA. So I thought the color was really pretty. Let's see what's in here. Oh, <laughs> these are my sneakers. So I have destroyed every pair of sneakers that I have working on the cottage mud, paint, anything and everything renovation related, I have gotten on my shoes. Uh, so I realized I had taken them all. Yeah, I have no sneakers here. So when we were moving, I wanted to put on a pair of sneakers and I didn't have any. I had some old filas that I, I was using, obviously. I went to Nordstrom and I saw these on clouds and Romeo was like, all the cool girls wearing on clouds. And I was like, oh, I need to wear on clouds then. But they were, they were super lightweight and this is the sand color, I believe. Pearl and white. Um, but they also have like a white pearl combo too where like only portions of it are the pearl color. But I thought they were like the creamiest, perfect color. Like, so like, you know, like imagine this whole outfit as one. I also got them in black because I figured I, I'm gonna live in tennis shoes all the time, like running to the hardware store or whatever. So I, I needed to invest in some new shoes. So I got those, those are nice. 
also got this I got for the kitchen. This will come in handy when we're organizing today. But I got this bamboo organizing rack for plastic bags and foil and plastic wrap. I have one of these in Texas and I really like it. We measured it and it would fit in one of the drawers. So that was good, so I got that. And we got a new set of knives. So we've had our knives for years and years and years. Um, and most of them ha have either gotten rusted, which we probably shouldn't have put them into the washer. And they're just like a basic set. We've never had like a, a nicer set. So I ordered these J and J natural series. They have a natural handle. Came with a block that sits on the tabletop, on the countertop, but I didn't want that. I actually bought a um, in drawer organizer because I'd like to put them in the drawers because we don't have a ton of countertop space. So I'd like to not take up space if I don't have to. Look at the, the natural wood. What is this? Are these like kitchen shears, but like fancy? That's so pretty. So we are not going to put them in the dishwasher. We are gonna hand wash only and make sure they dry so that these will last a long time without, you know, rust. The stainless steel was rusting on the other ones. So nice, it's a complete set, it's 15 pieces. We just have all the things coming in, you know? Like we've, we've been prepping. Once we started purging the house of things that we knew we needed to replace, I kind of was shopping um, online, kind of looking for things that we could order. Look how cool this is. So all the knives lay straight. Oh, this is gonna make organizing the kitchen much better today. <gasps> Wait, what? What is this? Kinsley loves to hang out with Romeo when he ships his packages and stuff. Well, now he's upstairs and she doesn't have any, oh, well, she has the couch. And he's like, I want a really cute dog bed for Kinsley. And this one's super cheap on his arm. It's like 20 bucks. Do we have to blow it up? Wait, I'm confused. How? Oh! Wait, that was so cool. Kinsley, you're, here, you can have this. She loves caps. She won't eat them, don't worry. Hi, Kinsley. He wanted a black one. Look, Kinsley, look. She's like, no, I want the cap. I got her two beds, one for down here. Hers was looking ratty, like really bad. She like digs in it, you know? Kinsley, you got two new beds? Who are you, a princess? And this one's like a natural one. Oh, this one feels definitely better. No, they're like the same. Maybe they'll fluff up. Do you like this one? It's kind of like, I thought it was gonna be the same color as her, but it's actually kind of like mauve, mauve gray. I think that's all. I th that, that's definitely. <laughs> all we ordered. So yesterday I kind of came in here and started thinking about what cabinets or what drawers would get what based on how we would use the kitchen. This right here is a lot deeper. And so I was thinking in here would be a great place for like pots and pans. So they have all these simple human drawer slide outs, even for the spice racks and down here, which are expensive. So we just want to clean them up and just have a like, kind of a fresh clean start. Uh, but I was like, what do we, put in here. <laughs> this one I already did. This one I have like all of our utensils for the for the stove, obviously. So I cleaned this drawer and put these in here yesterday. And in here, I don't know, I have one knife. <laughs> That's kind of scary when I open it. Um, in here is really narrow. So I think it's just gonna be more kind of utensils to like cook with, maybe like measuring cups and avocado cutters and not not knives. This is an old knife. Here is where I wanna put the knives, the new knife set. So I think that that's gonna work really well. I was thinking like this could be a junk drawer because I feel like everyone needs a junk drawer and it's like on the end of the kitchen, the furthest away. Here's where they have all of these like simple human things. I was thinking that this could be the pantry for now. We could clean all this up and have them like, you know, they could slide out so we could have like snacks and pantry items, rice and things like that. And then on each side of the oven, they have them as well. So I was like, okay, spices. Kinsley, look what mama got you. Treats. I got her some treats from uh, Whole Foods yesterday and uh, she's not having any. 
she's like, mm. she tolerates them, but she leaves it until like, she's like, okay, I'm kind of hungry. I guess I'll eat that treat. Which one do you want? You want this one? You know you love these. High five, kiss me. High five, good girl. <laughs> good girl, baby girl. Here we go. Get you some of those and one of these. She gets a little extra because she has it. She hasn't had her her good treats in a while. Here we were thinking plates because there's no cap upper cabinets on this side. There's just this one, and I did this cabinet yesterday, and I put all of our coffee mugs, one little drinking glass that we have. I actually lied. We have two of these. Um, I used to have eight. <laughs> And we have shorter ones, like juice glasses. That's why I got the other ones, but literally one, one regular glass. I felt like this was good for glasses because it was over the coffee pot. This one is sh more shallow and oh, we need to clean this for sure. Maybe bowls and things can go here and more drinking glasses up here. The ones we don't use often can go up top. More of these, so many of these. I don't know what they had in all this stuff. I mean, they make it super convenient to like have, you know, utilize more of your space. Obviously underneath the sink, we'll have all of our, you know, cleaning supplies, dishwashing detergent and stuff. Here we have our spoons. I did this drawer yesterday. Then we have like this stuff. They can go underneath and then just more deeper drawers there. There's not no storage but I feel like there's a little bit of a lack of storage. That's why the last owners had tried to make the most of it by having the pullout drawers. So when we redo the kitchen way in the future, we're gonna definitely optimize the storage in the space and kind of rethink it um, because it's, it's lacking for sure. And it's lacking in a pantry. So I'm gonna get started, I'm gonna clean. And then we can start to organize all the kitchen. Stuff. cleaning these cabinets, I'm realizing that the liners that the previous owners had underneath these drawers are really good. Some of them were just contact paper though. So they've yellowed and they're bad. But some of them are like the plastic like this. I think we're gonna run to the store and get some liners. This one's really yellowed. Like this knife thing is so cool. I wanna make sure it fits in this drawer. I did measure it before. Totally. Let's open her up. I'm gonna wash all the knives too. I just wanna see what it looks like. If it's here, oh, no, they don't really go all the way down. They're kind of fat. I think it's fine. I've never had knives in a drawer like this. I've always seen like the block or them just like loose, which is kind of dangerous. I feel like this would be like, my mom actually needs this for real. This, the sharpener, I saw a picture, it goes right in the middle. And then the larger knives sit like that. That is so nice. I love it. Okay, now I have to clean them all. I just wanted to do that. Look how cool. So we got these the plastic ones, same ones that were in the kitchen. I like them because they're not see-through like the foam ones are. They're like, they have holes, they're just grip. And these are like not paper either. So they're not gonna, I hope, I don't know if they'll yellow over time, but I doubt it. Unless like something gets on it, like grease or something. And they were the same price as the like foamy ones with the holes. So I'm gonna put one in the bottom of this cabinet. Story of my life, I can never find scissors Rockstone beats against this cage of bone I wonder if it'll ever free my soul 
Cause I've been serving twenty some years in the same bar. That's pretty good. We have one more too that goes next to it, but it's washing. It's deep enough too that I can put some pans that we don't use as often, but we keep uh, behind it. it. Has this linen holder for the lids, but I don't think that it's gonna work. Our cabinets are so small. I don't know. I have to figure that out. I don't know. I'm just gonna slide it in there for now. I have pretty jars and things that um, all have labels. We, we need to get rid of everything in them. We need to clean them all and then kind of re restart. Um, so for now, I just have the ones that are like newer and we just got some salt and pepper in the grinders until I get, I wanna order some pretty grinders. They're quite expensive, so I wanna find the right ones. So we'll have like, just temporary things right now until I clean all of those and we reorganize our spices. Maybe sugar, maybe like baking stuff and oils can go up there. I was thinking down here, but maybe not. So this is underneath the coffee pot. So I was thinking this one, since it's a little bit on the edge of the kitchen, I was thinking the top one we could do coffee things. Extra coffee can go down here. And I have like a jar that's pretty that we take the pods out of the boxes and put them up. But I can go here. And then I was thinking the bottom one could be Kinsley stuff. So she's got shampoo, her toothpaste and her finger toothbrushes that she does not let me use. You want me to brush your teeth? Mm-hmm. You're sniffing it now, but you'll be running later. Random, but I think it'll work. Okay, now we need our makeshift pantry. So Romeo kind of thought it might be good up here for taller things like cereal, bags of chips and stuff. I feel like that was definitely designed for a pantry down there because it has four pullouts and I found an old bag of chips in there um, <laughs> before we cleaned it. I feel like maybe maybe both places because I really don't know what, what to really put up here. I feel like it'll work because I can always stack cutting boards and like pans, sheet pans here next to the pots. So I feel like that would totally work and we can get some like nice containers, but things like popcorn and granola and grains and stuff could still go down there. I don't know if I'm like getting all over the place, like I'm spreading things out. Who would have thought that organizing your kitchen could be so complicated? That's all we have right now. For this guy, I see holes. You must be able to like hang this too because it comes with like screws. We're not gonna hang it. It's gonna go in the floor. Slide in here. Foil. Very well. Okay. Okay, I finally made it through a few boxes and I'm to the plates and the bowls. <laughs> I'm struggling. It's like none of the cabinets are quite wide enough and deep enough to accommodate kind of all of them together. So I feel like it's like PC, but this shallow cabinet here almost makes me feel like it should have glasses in it. I chose to put the glasses where you are, underneath the mugs, because that's clearly where they have the mugs. They have like hooks, like cup hooks. And then they all won't fit there. So then I'm gonna have some plates and bowls there and some here, or I can put bowls because they'll fix, they're shallow, and then plates here. I'm gonna try it out and we're gonna see. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Either way, they're gonna have to stack, which is kind of weird, but 
plates definitely fit here. Like that. Bowls. Can go here. We made a lot of progress. Up here, I put like um, blender containers and like to go cups, like our travel mugs and stuff like that. Felt like it worked best. That's how we had it at the, uh, the apartment. So I felt like it, it worked really well. In here, I put like, I guess this could actually go somewhere else. I'm thinking I want like mixing bowls and stuff down here and the colander might be able to go down there somehow. At my mom's house, she has her lids all in a drawer together and I really liked it. So they're gonna be right underneath the pots and I stood up all of the cutting boards and stuff there, which works. In the bottom drawer, I put sheet pans and muffin and cupcake kind of pans and it all really works. If I have any more and it's overflow, I can put them in the drawer underneath the oven. And then up top, Pop over here, I have wine glasses and champagne glasses because we never use them, ever. We don't drink, so we never we never use them. Also, something that I've realized that we don't have space for is my like um, extra little appliance things like my crock pot, my air fryer. We always had problems with like counter space in our apartment. So this one actually folds down and you can use it and it air fries, uh, broils, bakes, you know, it's basically like a toaster oven and an air fryer. And then you can stand it up and get it out of your way, which is really nice. It's kind of an eyesore. I don't like it on the counter, but it works and it's functional. What am I gonna do with that? Like I have no place for that, absolutely none. I almost feel like if this didn't have this drawer and stuff, I could put that type of stuff up here, but. Hmm, we will see. I'm still thinking. It's almost, 10 o'clock at night now. <laughs> I've been doing this all day. I'm tired, I'm tired of standing and moving. I did make a lot of progress. I mean, a lot of stuff is put away and a lot of stuff is thought through. Another thing that I thought I could do is I've got this cabinet filled now with kind of things that I don't use. Like, yes, we use the bowls, but we don't use anything up here. This is more for like when we have like a dinner party and I don't want to do place settings and these are like little kind of like souvenir type things. We just don't use that stuff. So what I was thinking is I could turn this into like a dry goods pantry and actually use these because I have a lot more of these and um, we just, this is just all we have to fill right now because we're kind of starting over. But I could do this in here like that and it could be like a dry goods pantry and then put this somewhere L, like, you know, like actually put it away. That's why I kind of need like a china cabinet or something like that. For now, I'll just put those here. As we live with the kitchen and we'll kind of move things around and make it work for us. <sighs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'm gonna get started decorating the uh, whole house really with the things that we got from the Rose Bowl and all the things that I already have. Art, things. I thought it might be cool here on this wall to do like hanging cutting boards. Like I have some prettier ones that I think might look good. I don't know, I'm just like playing around with ideas right now. But I am gonna start decorating tomorrow and you are probably already gonna see that video um, this Sunday. So if you haven't checked that out, go head over. I'll put in a little thumbnail here for you guys to check it out. Uh, I'm gonna go take a shower because I feel kind of grimy and um, cuddle with this little so girl. So I feel like this podcast is going to be that missing puzzle piece. And I want you guys to let us know, let me know what you want to talk about. Um, anything and everything to help you. Maybe if you are going to be getting into a renovation or a flip project, um, or you're going to just be decorating your home. And I have a very specific style. I love all styles. I used to decorate for um, a living. I also used to be a fashion designer and we'll get into that. Um, <laughs> but I think it's 
think this is going to be a great just avenue for us. So I want to hear what you have. I want to hear. Can you say hi? You didn't really help me today. You were hanging out with your dad. Yeah. Oh, she's so precious, Kinsley. Say bye to everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.